Hi everyone, it's Karen Frankel here. Many people have requested to show them how I do my glass pieces. I've been working with glass seriously for about a year, but casually for about two or three years before that. And before that, and including um, the last three years, I have worked as a mixed media artist. Um, for some time, I used to use tissue paper and produce collage paintings that looked like they were done with paint and they were only done with layers of tissue paper. And I've decided to call my glass collage glass because it is a very, very similar technique when I overlay pieces of glass that I've created myself is the same as when I've created the textures and colors onto tissue paper and I used to overlay the, those. So I've been working with that sort of sensibility for many, many years and I'm enjoying transferring it into glass and it seems to work. Um, I'd like to thank and acknowledge Art Glass Studio in Morley, Perth, Australia and that's Mark, Joe and Jake who have given me lots of um, encouragement over the years and taught me lots of their skills. And also, I'd like to acknowledge Kerry Minnick, who conducted a five-day workshop at Art Glass Studio, and that's where it really took off for me. And she um, she taught us how to do layering um, and how to use frit and powders. So um, thank you to you, Kerry. I'd also like to acknowledge and thank my brother, Ilan Zagoria, who provided the fabulous music. For a long time, I used to run an art studio where I taught um, for many, many years. I have now retired from that studio. So if you'd like to support me, um, other than your fabulous wishes on um, videos and things like that, you can support me through my Ko-fi support page. That means you'll buy me a cuppa or two. I will put a link below to that page if you would like to support me. I'll also provide you information on my firing schedules and also the different colors of frit and glass that I have used in the video. So I hope you enjoy it. You're welcome to ask me any questions in the comments. I'd love to see some of your results if you try it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you around in the group. Bye-bye. I usually use a much bigger piece than this. There was one thing that I took from Kerry to move into my work, which was making my own part sheets and designs. Um, and I've used some of the leftover pieces from all these little things we did. And I've used some of these pieces in my current designs as well. But I'm going to show you how I make my part sheets. Um, first of all, simply um, for things like this. So I try to get the... Um, the character of whatever it is that I want to convey. At the moment, I'm using the colors of um, Australia, the forests in particular down south, which really entice me. Um, but I tried all sorts of things. So experimental pieces are fantastic. So here you can see I've just broken up a number of stringers. Um, this would have been on a big sheet, which I've now nearly used all up so i'll be showing you how i make these you can see also in this piece in particular these little sort of lines through them that would have been made by this fruit which is orange opal so i've got a whole lot of uh, of different jars of fruit i bought them on sale when there were some half bottles left so i wasn't overly picky i took what was there and i've been working um sometimes with glass i didn't particularly choose it for its color or i did but it wasn't that important so these two this glass as far as i remember was made by this this is hunter green 
Uh, I sometimes put yellow in. So it doesn't matter what fruit you use. This is how I make um, some of my part sheets. This is marigold yellow opal, fine. When I work with powders, I'm going to add a little bit of this pimento red opal powder. I wear um, an N25 or sorry, N95 masks. This isn't a COVID one because it's got a valve there to help your breathing, but it's to stop me from breathing in um, the powder. And I'm also going to sift it. So you'll see me sifting the black as well in a sec. This is black opalescent powder. I'm very much into happy accidents. I use one of these soft sponges and I kind of move them out the way like that. So I draw into the powder so you can leave a negative tree or you can leave a positive tree if you're not drawers positive is the actual thing that you're looking at and the negative is the space between the things and that helps you to observe what you need very much more easily so if I wanted a real you know just an accurate tree this sponge is a bit crooked but so it's not really doing the job there you go so that's quite raised you can't really see how raised it is um, but that all melts in and flattens when it gets fired so that would be if I want a tree, if I want an actual tree. So sometimes I draw the tree looks in, in the negative, sometimes I draw it in the positive. So if I want to spread that out again for another drawing, it doesn't, it doesn't come as smooth as that unless I put it all on this piece of paper and put it back in the jar or put it back in the sieve and sift it back on. Um, because the next thing I want to show you is um, how I actually draw into there um, and what I use. And here, for example, is a big sheet of gum nuts. And you can see um, the leaves and things. So I'm very much into... Um, Banksias, uh, the native flowers of Western Australia. Uh, I've done many paintings of them as well, and they've got the most gorgeous spiky leaves. So I use different um, nylon um, things. This one I think is used for pas pastelists use it. You can you can put. Um, So you would see in this piece here, there would be that would be quite dark, um, but obviously these would be quite light. And where I've pushed it away, um, it's lighter again, but I've still got a little bit of fine residue there, which I quite like.
in this piece, uh, it was something like that yellow, and I actually um, drew in these lines of me from me drawing in. So you can draw into any frit um, or powder. If you draw into the frit, it's more coarse. If you draw into the powder, you get um, cleaner lines. I'm just adding a bit of warmth with a bit more pimento powder over the black. I also know because I am firing single sheets, I don't take this too close to the edge because I know that these will um, try to get to 6mm and the edges are not useful particularly. So I'm going to demonstrate making one of these little things. It is um, 11 centimeters by 11 centimeters and it goes into this um, mold and it sits like that and um, I always make them two layers. So the first layer is a colored layer. I mix using colored glass with my own part sheets. Um, typically every single one of my pieces so far has got this gorgeous red. If I want one to go exactly 11, then I will measure it. And I measure and cut all the pieces I need choosing from ready-made glass and my part sheets. The music is from my brother Ilan Zagoria. Hope you enjoy it.
I'm now going to work with my part sheets to create the second layer. Occasionally I use a piece of colored glass, but it is mostly the black and white pieces that I've made. Once I've designed the top layer, I separate the two layers out so that I can neaten them up and finish them and maybe change things that I uh, need to. Once I've completed the design, I take a photograph so that I can use it for when I'm placing the pieces in the kiln. And then I proceed to clean each piece, first with some mess, and then rinsed off in some slightly soapy water. I'm putting them into a box with the top layer first, and then I'll put a sheet of bubble wrap in between the top layer and the first layer so that I can do the reverse when I'm putting it into the kiln. You can see the part sheet that I prepared earlier. It's in the kiln for a full fuse. I do it at the same time that I full fuse my pieces, even if it's a bubble squeeze. It's easy to read off from my uh, photograph and put the pieces where they belong, a bit like a puzzle and um, that helps me not only to put the pieces in the kiln in the correct way but also gives me a reference for the future as to what I did.
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.